Hey family! <laughs> um, Lotus here from Jasmine Lotus Aurora. I know I keep changing my YouTube name. I think it's gonna stick with this one. <laughs> but um, I wanted to give you guys a tour. This is my apartment garden. Today is July 10th, 2020. So let's get this garden tour going. All right, right here, as tall as me, we have our tomatillos. This is a purple Coban tomatillo. It's gonna be beautiful, purple. And these flowers are so pretty. It's been about a month since we did a garden tour, so I'm really excited to have this one with you guys now. And our tomato plant is starting to produce tomatoes. So here is our pink bumblebee tomato plant. We've got two little right there. I think they're cherry tomatoes. And we've got, oh my God, we've just got so much. So, Right here is our 1500 year old cave bean. I just did some pruning on the top of him, so we're gonna hope that um, some flowers start to pop up. Our golden butter wax beans have been producing all month since that last video, and I've been loving them. We actually have some new flowers somewhere on there. Oh, here's one. So we're gonna have even more golden butter wax beans. I am just so excited for the 1500 year old cave bean. And so <laughs> I talked about these last time, our cucumber plants that never got transplanted. We've actually got a couple cucumbers forming on there. Let's see. And then this one. I don't know if the cucumbers are gonna actually grow or not, but oh there we go. Here's a little mini cucumber. If they do, it'll be cool. In here, we've got a couple squash. This is buttercup squash, which is absolutely delicious. I had some from the store the other day because I saw it and I was like, no way. They actually have this at the grocery store. I'm growing it, so I had to try it. It was delicious. I'm gonna thin one of these out. There's three plants in here. I only need two, obviously maybe only one. Here are our noodle beans, our purple noodle beans. That one, I don't know if it's gonna have enough time to grow, but I just figured I'd stick it in there. Our calendula are blooming throughout the garden, so you'll see these kind of tall flowers in yellow and white. Those are blooming. I'll be using those medicinally. I've already harvested a couple, so that's super cool. Um, let's see. We'll go around the perimeter. Our lemon balm is doing absolutely lovely smells delicious and we've got our lettuce leaf basil okay guys so this is gonna be my first time trying it we're gonna try it on the video I have been waiting to try this to, to waiting to do the video to try it so you guys could see so thank you basil it's clean <laughs> That is so delicious. Um, I love it, oh my God. It's got a different flavor kind of to regular basil. It does taste like basil, but it's a bit different. And let's see. So maybe you can go in real quick and look at those. I was really excited about those. And the leaves will get even bigger. They're just massive. I'm, this was my favorite thing that I wanted to plant in the garden. That and then the 1500 year old cave bean. So I'm just delighted. We've got two pots of okra, which will probably end up being thinned out because okra plants get big, but they're more tall. So we'll see. We've got, let's see. Ooh, our jelly bean, African jelly bean, or not bean, um, melon. So it looks like a spiky orange and red cucumber. You might have seen those at Whole Foods. And then we've got, let's see. I planted several succotash in there, but I think it was just too hot for the succotash. And there is some sweet potato in there. Maybe the sweet potato will grow. That'll be really cool. Down here, we've got a couple types of amaranth. We have the absolutely beautiful green and red Chinese spinach, which is a Chinese amaranth. And then we've got the wonderful and delicious callaloo, which is often found in the Caribbean. Here, let me 
We've got the cage up so that the animals don't get into it. And those are gonna be delicious. Those are a great option if you wanna plant greens in the summer that aren't gonna bolt and aren't gonna get bitter fast. They're gonna be absolutely delicious and perfect for the heat. So I know a lot of greens won't grow right now, but those are great. And then we've got our three herb trays. Yarrow is doing absolutely wonderful in here. We've got lots of basil on the back one. We've got, let's see, some hyssop and hummingbird mint that should be blooming in there soon. Our marshmallow and our bee balm, bergamot, are doing wonderful. Ooh, our calendula over here have been eaten up by something. Wow. They really got eaten up. <laughs> And I just saw this before the video. Our other tomatillo has broken completely in half and it wasn't doing very well anyway. I'm just gonna take it out and I'm gonna start some carrots and stick that in the shade. Put some carrots in there. All right, let's see, we got so much stuff. <laughs> we have watermelon right here. She's just growing, growing, growing. Kushaw squash back there, that giant squash in the bottom of the pin, um, the raised bed. And I've got another one climbing up the back. We'll look at closer and talk more about that in a second. Our corn is getting pretty much completely covered up by the squash. But this is the Hopi turquoise corn. I'm really hoping it'll get a growth spurt and get just taller than that squash. We've got our peppers, which I'm hoping are gonna produce soon. Our scorpion, Trinidad scorpion pepper, or scorpion duck pepper, something like that. And our California reaper pepper. And some beans behind them. And these beans are gonna be producing really soon. The flowers are about to open. Let's see, back here, I am going to probably tomorrow make a short little video on pruning beans, because these need to be pruned. Those are more 1500 year old cave beans. And down here I've got purple hyacinth bean. There's a couple of those, that's a beautiful purple bean that's great for stir fries. And we've got... <clears throat> Oh, climbing up here. So he's climbing from a string I put down in the front. This is a loofah squash. So that's where loofahs come from, which is going to be really cool to have. This monster. This plant is a fucking monster. This is that other Kushaw squash. It's the same plant as the one in the back, or as the one in the front, but it grew upwards. So this thing grew about a foot above the trellis, came down to here, two feet, I weaved it back through the trellis, and when we go back around front, you'll see that it's like three or four feet out. This thing is just insane. It's got to be like at least 15 feet altogether if it was stretched out, which is nuts. Okay, we've got some okra in here. Um, we'll see what happens with that. Ooh. It's not as much space as it should have. These tall plants right here, those are our sunchokes, which is the Maryland native sunflower. It's going to have a flower that's a bit smaller than the sunflower. And instead of eating the seeds, you eat the root, which is called the sunchoke, which I love. They're delicious, so I wanted to grow it. Wonderful. And I wanted to show you guys up close this just massive beast here. <laughs> the same squash as the climbing one. This is crazy. Oh, and here's what the climbing one is doing. This morning, these strings were attached to a sunchoke that it broke in half. 
and the strings were not at all on this it has wrapped around the string the the pole i don't know how many times since this morning which is crazy this plant grows faster than anything ever it's had a bunch of flowers fall off because i think it's too weak and like i if i were to prune it i think it would do a lot better but it's just so cool to see how tall this thing gets that i just want to keep it going so i should probably prune it i should have pruned it a long time ago or pulled it out because the flowers keep falling off but i don't know we'll see we'll see our stinging nettle is coming back. There's one right here. I get stung by it regularly. One right here. The caterpillars had eaten it all up, but they, I guess, have flown away as butterflies. Okay. Our purple salvia is beautiful. And then we've got another kasha squash growing up front. The little guy. So yeah, the garden has just been growing like crazy. Like, I just tell people it's my jungle or I'll be like, welcome to my jungle. Cause it is, this is all on my apartment patio. So like, no matter what space you have, you can grow something. Even if you just start with something this size, this little pot, you can grow a couple things or like, any space you have, if you have a small yard, you can grow. If I can do all of this on a patio, I'm telling you, you can grow something. So, I think we got everything. Um, some things I've had lately, the, what are they called? The Japanese beetles have been coming in and the cucumber beetles have been coming in. So that's been something to deal with. All right. Y'all are gonna think I'm weird, weirder than you already do, but the Japanese beetles and the cucumber beetles, I don't want to kill them because I don't like to kill things. They're all inside in a jar or two jars and I'm feeding them and giving them water. I will not release them. I know the Japanese beetle is invasive. I will not release it. So I don't want to remove it and put it somewhere else, but I don't want to kill it either. So they're in my jars. I don't know what we're gonna do with that. You guys will hear more about that later probably or not we'll see how it goes <laughs> but yeah thanks so much thanks for watching my garden video please like subscribe share my videos with others and leave in the comments what you're growing I want to know what you're growing put in the comments if you're on too much stuff to list just put your favorite three things pop that in the comments thank you for watching I had so much fun love you family